Hello, everybody on YouTube. Um, this video that I want to talk about, um, I want to address uh, um, something that I've seen happen or seen happening in the uh, New Age or spiritual uh, disciplines. Um, yeah, no, no. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying, you know, non-church or stuff like that, even though a lot of these books probably come out of that, you know, like, um, The Secret, that latest book, uh, well, not latest book, it's been out for quite a while now, uh, probably a year or so, anyways, but, you know, it's that thinking that exists outside of the church. You know, and I'm kind of like, um, in between there, you know, in between the formality of the church and the wild west of the New Age spiritual movement, kind of like in between there, still hopefully grounded to reality, which both, um, both sides are, you know, not everybody, but, you know, a lot of people, um, believe stuff that's probably not too realistic. Anyways, getting off track. What I wanted to talk about, one of the things that would get me upset all the time in the New Age and spiritual circles, and it was perpetuated in The Secret, you know, the book and, you know, the movie. You know what I mean? All the secret is is just... You know, that, that stuff that's just been around for ages. You know, someone just kind of put all those things into one book and uh, put it out and say, Hey, this is new! No, it's not! <laughs> um, anyways, you know, it's, you know it's, it's, it's a good book, good re reminder, but, you know, they missed the mark on one major, major thing. And unless... In me listening to the book, I misunderstood someplace, but they're thinking that all you have to do to be a success and have money and all that is just to think good thoughts, think um, uh, abundant, and the abundance will flow to you. But see. But that's where they stop. Thinking is just... It's just one-third of what you need. You need three things to manifest anything into this physical realm. This physical... This physical reality, this physical existence that we're all living now. You need three things to manifest. You need an aspect of the physical, an aspect of the mental, and an aspect of the emotional. Now, to explain those three things, first, the physical, it's obvious, it should be. You know, you've got to be doing something, you know, well, I mean, it starts with the mental. Okay, it starts with the mental, and you got to, like, um, Figure out what you want and believe that you can achieve it. You know, you have to believe you can achieve it. Think about what you want and believe you can achieve it. You've got to truly, truly believe that you can achieve it. And it comes down to faith. You know, faith in, um, in the, uh, <laughs> ants. Um, <laughs> Faith in the whole, the wholeness of all creation. Um, that what we, what comes to us, is you know um, what we, you know what we need and what we want come to us. So that's that's the first aspect. 
is the thinking and the deciding about what you want to manifest in this life. What do you want to achieve? Okay, you make that decision. And then, that's the mental aspect. And then the physical aspect is you've got to put physical action. You've got to be doing something consistently that will bring that goal. And you've got to, and you have to believe that you know what you what you do will manifest what you want. Okay, so that's the two things you got to uh, you got to do the physical. You you got to decide what you want, and then you got to do the physical to um, bring that into manifestation. But things happen in this life. You know, shit happens. And we've all been there. You know, you know exactly what I mean when I say shit happens. So, what will get you through those moments when the shit happens? You know, when you're, when you're down and you're you know, at the lowest point. What will happen? Um... You know, because you have what you want to happen, and you're trying to make it, you're trying to do things physically, but then things happen, things don't quite manifest the way you want, or whatever, and stuff happens, shit happens. So, what do you do to get through those moments of shit? You need an energy source. And that energy source is the emotional aspect. Okay? That is not just the sail, but the motor that will make, you know, that will help you achieve what you want. So when these three things are aligned, when you decide what you want, and you take the physical actions, and you put the emotional kindling to that. You know, you believe it, you have faith, you have hope. And you believe that you have the right to all this. You know, that's that emotional aspect. When you have the mental, the physical, and the emotional, you know, when those things are aligned, then... Uh, you can you can see what you want come to you because um, and I could go into all three of these things more deeply you know like uh, deciding you know you can't just uh, you can't just think it and just just have it come because it's just out there floating it's just a thought, it's just thinking, there's nothing, it's just hanging there. But then, when you have that thought, and you put it behind some action, then you actually have some movement towards that direction. You're moving towards that direction. And then when shit happens, and even when shit doesn't happen, you still have that emotional, um, that emotional connection to that thing that'll feed it that much more and draw it more to you. You know, it's the love power. You know, because love draws things together. You know, all you need is love. I mean, we've all said that. There's like a lot of 60s and 70s songs. And actually, there is a song that says all you need is love. And I believe it was, um, <laughs> I think it was the Beatles. Uh, probably John Lennon. You know, all you need is love. Um, that's the final piece to draw things to you. You know, to love that thought. Love that thought so much, you know, that decision that you want to happen. Love that so much that you're willing to put in the physical effort to achieve that. Um, and do what it takes to achieve that. 
And you must always focus on that thought. You know, goals are fine and everything like that, but again, goals are just something we make uh, December 1st. Or we make it, uh, I mean, January 1st. We, ma we make them, we make them uh, December 31st and we break them January 1st. You know, or even January 5th. We break them. You know, it's a goal without any uh, um, any energy to it is just that it's just a thought that stays there midair unless you actually do something to draw that to you or you know not just have it draw to you but you you know you moving towards that until you finally meet and achieve and then you go for the next thing that you want and you just keep doing that you know, going through having experiences, achieving what you decide what you want to be, what you want to do, what you want to have. So you need to decide, you need to you need to think and decide what you want, and then you gotta put the physical action into what you want. And have faith that as, as you know, as as long as I do these physical things, I know what I want will come, that or something better. And then the third, when you love that thing so much that no matter what you go through, what you go through, you're still moving towards that. And a good example is that children, you know, those people who have children. Would you do anything for your children? And then ask yourself why. You know, there's the, there's the obvious, there's, there's the thing. So, hopefully the secret's been revised, <laughs> you know. And you have the rest of the story, you know, to manifest wealth, happiness, whatever you want. You first, yes, have to think about it and decide what it is you actually want. And then you got to put the physical action into it. And then you got to put the emotional investment into it. And when you have those three. There's nothing that you can think, that you can think of that you can't do. And that's the true power of humanity and all us children of God. Thank you for watching. Stay creative. You know, it's been so long since I've done a video, I forgot my tag saying. <laughs> oh, yes. Stay creative in the magic of life. Thank you for watching.